Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I just came back from Inglot screening for JLo's new movie which is called The Second Act and I'm super excited because I got a whole bunch of goodies and I won uh, one of their random selection too so I'm pretty happy that I got all that stuff. Um, I also went there with my husband so if you are following on my Instagram you will get to see what was happening there and if you aren't following me on Instagram please do so it's makeup by Asmeri at Instagram so go ahead and follow me there. So today's video is gonna be a little different it's not a makeup tutorial as you can see my makeup is already done i just came back from the in love thing so i was already i had my wig on i was having a very bad hair day and i was getting very lazy so i was like yeah you know what i'm gonna go ahead and put some wig on and look it's just perfect it's it's nice you know it's like a quick uh, easy get ready. Okay, so today's video is a little different. What I'm gonna do here today is I'm gonna I'm ready myself I'm gonna take off my makeup entirely kind of like going in a reverse uh, Motion right usually I have no makeup to make up today. I have makeup. I'm gonna go no makeup uh, The reason why I'm doing this because I hear a lot of people's concern especially one of the most biggest concern that I have heard over many years and I still get to hear a lot um, is that oh too much makeup may ruin your skin I don't like to use too much makeup because I don't want to ruin my skin now as you're growing up um, it's obviously not a good thing to do makeup if you're a child if you are someone like a teenager or someone who's growing up because I never had makeup done on myself up till I think 18 years old my mom always used to be like once you get into university you can go and do whatever you want and that's I guess just the way Bengali parents are Bengali parents always say that like once you go into university you have all the freedom you need so yeah my mom was the same and my mom is a makeup artist herself she's an aesthetician too um, and so but you know like she was running her salon she would do makeup but she would not allow me to wear makeup other than maybe eyeliner and mascara um, also that was like after I was like 16 years old and then when I became 18 I started going to university I started wearing lashes and all that stuff and that's when she started appreciating the fact that I'm taking care of myself and that's just I guess how oops how being all your parents are anyway so today I'm gonna be taking my makeup off because I think one very important thing my mom taught me is whenever you put makeup that's really fine but make sure you take it off really nicely to a point you have nothing left on your skin and that's the mess like ugh, that's a mess um that's the most important thing to do is making sure that before you go to bed you have not a single drop of makeup on your skin and that's the most important thing you can do as soon as you learn that you will be happy to see that your skin is getting better and better even with you putting so much makeup on I always put makeup seven days a week I'm always in this makeup because on weekdays I go to school I go to work I still put on makeup at least if not this much maybe a minimum amount of makeup and then on weekends I have like the, these um, parties to go to, a makeup party. So obviously I'm gonna put on makeup. And then if not, then I'm gonna do I'm gonna be doing YouTube. So again, I'm you know putting lots of makeup. Now the reason why my skin don't break out much, maybe once in a while if it's the time of the month, is um, it's gonna be like one or two, and that's it. And after the time of the month is gone, it's back to being normal. So that's how. I take care of my skin and I'm actually going to show you guys. So first thing first, I'm going to take off my wig and wear something comfortable and I'll be right back. Once it's all done, I'm going to show you what I do and you know, I'm, I don't use a whole bunch of products. So I'm going to be using a few products and I'll show you how to take care of your skin before you head to bed. So I'll be right back. So I have already taken off my wig and now I'm going to take off the makeup. So first thing first, I'm going to remove my lashes. lashes are so huge but they made my eyes look so pretty so all right so now that it's done I'm gonna take almanola and my cotton pads over here I like to put some oil on top of this and it's really like thick and dense oil um, this takes off the makeup like really nice you see that 
Now, the foundation I was using is actually by Marc Jacob, and the fact that it's coming off nicely with oil, it's really nice. Literally like everything just came off. All right, so now I can say that 75 to 80% of the makeup is gone thanks to the almond oil. And now, this is my favorite face wash. It's actually called, I don't know if you can see it. It's actually called Vichy Pro. This is actually one of my favorite face wash and I've been using it pretty much every time. Now, it has brightening cleansing foam. So it obviously brights your face, also deeply cleanses, and reveals more of an even skin tone. And if you notice, sometimes I get like a lot of uneven skin tone, and that's my biggest problem. Um, especially more during the summertime, less during the wintertime. So I like to use this one because it evens out my skin. And over the time, it has worked on my skin pretty nicely. So I'm going to actually go ahead and use Vichy. I'm going to wash my face, and I'll be right back. So now that I'm done washing my face, I actually wash my face two times just to make sure that there's nothing on my skin anymore. But however, there's always something because makeup is something that goes into your pores, especially you know when you use primer and all that stuff, it still goes into your pores. The main thing that we want to make sure is the skin pores are clean and clear. So the next thing that I'm going to be using is called Vichy. This is 3-in-1 and I'll show you. Now it's 3-in-1, it has scrub in there, it cleanses your skin and it also acts as a mask for the face. So I'm going to be using this on my face right now. I'm going to go ahead and wet my skin a little bit and then I'm going to start scrubbing this onto my skin. I feel like I'm blended with the background, like white background, white robe, and white face. I look like I'm a ghost. Okay. You don't want to scrub too much and irritate the skin, so you want to scrub a little bit, which I did. I waited for it to sort of dry out a little bit. Now it's kind of dry. I'm going to wait for five minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. Okay, so I can already feel my skin is a lot tighter. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face off camera and I'll be right back. I've already washed my face off camera and uh, it already feels like a lot clean. So the last step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Pixie Glow Tonic and I'm gonna be using this one. And I'm gonna be using it with a cotton pad. Now what it does is it extracts out any leftover dirt on your face or makeup and also at the same time it closes out the pores. Once it cleans the pores, it closes the pores so no further dirt can go in there. So that's what a toner is technically used for is to close your pores. And I like to apply this prior to my makeup application 
and prior to putting my primer because what happens once your pores are blocked now even if you put makeup on them right now once your pores are blocked and you're applying makeup on top of it it doesn't affect your skin much because it's not really seeping into your skin like it probably will but not as much so it helps you block the pores a lot people with oily skin it's a really good idea to use a toner prior to makeup application if your makeup tends to sweat a lot or your face is giving out sweat a lot because you're you know oily skin so toner helps block those pores so you won't sweat as much my face smells really nice So I'll show you and you'll be surprised that after even washing my face, you know, scrubbing it, cleansing it, and putting a mask, I still have dirt left on my skin. And I'll show you. See that? Now, I would have normally, if I wouldn't have used a toner, just washing my face, I would just go to sleep thinking my face is clean, and but that's how much dirt would still be on my skin and it's not healthy. So that's exactly when you get breakouts because your skin pores are blocked with dirt or makeup and it's trying to like breathe. And as it's trying to breathe, it will create that bump on your skin and it will become those pimples, right? So this is why I like to use a toner with a you know cotton pad now if you don't have a toner you can even use like a baby lotion or like a baby oil or something you know but I like toner because it controls your oil and the dryness in your face now after applying a toner um, if it's a daytime I would just apply this and that's it and I'll probably apply a little bit of primer and put makeup on and go on with my day but because I'm going to sleep what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna wash my face with really nice chill cold water and I'll I'll just do it behind the camera and I'm just gonna quickly do it off the camera and I'll be back in a minute all right so now I'm done washing my face with really nice chill cold water and now I'm gonna just apply my moisturizer now at night time even though I agree that I have a very dry skin I don't like to put a heavy moisturizer because what happened is I'm not letting my skin really breathe and it's just gonna feel hydrated on the top of my skin layer but at the end of the day it's gonna be really dry from the inner parts of my pores so I want to make sure I apply something very light that way my skin can breathe and morning I have really nice and healthy skin now for that I like to use my Garnier moisturizer this is actually a very nice beautiful soothing mist this is the one that I like to apply and it's very easy to apply because you're not gonna you're not gonna mess with your skin a lot you're just gonna basically close your eyes and spray very nicely and evenly so let's do it and now what I'm gonna do is apply some chopstick just any chopstick is good And that's it guys, that's how I like to go to bed. So also make sure before going to sleep, don't tie your hair like the way I did because it's not really good for your hair. So I'm, I'm gonna make sure that before I go to sleep, I'm gonna take off my hairband and I'm just gonna let my hair be because that's the best way to keep your hair is not stress out the roots. You know, you wanna be gentle with them. And uh, drink lots of water, don't be like me. I like my night coffee. And this is Tim Hortons. And I'll see you next time on my next video. Till then, take care.